Okay, hey there, family and friends. Here's the story of the past five days, why I'm here and why you've gotten texts and read shit on Facebook. I was out camping Saturday night and um, something, it felt like something punched me in the chest and apparently that was a heart attack. Uh, I fought off being stubborn and just fighting through it and camping Saturday night and decided to come home, threw my stuff into my car, drove two hours from LJ back home. And once I got home, I uh, thought we'd sleep it off. It didn't sleep it off. At early three o'clock in the morning, I woke up the long suffering Talisa and said, hey honey, uh, we need to go to the ER. And we went to Wellstar Paldy Emergency Room where I was admitted with atrial fibrillation with RVR, which is the bad AFib that you have just before or after a heart attack. And sure enough, I'd had a heart attack. That's what all the blood tests indicated and everything else. Uh, in the course of a few hours there, uh, literally without much waiting, the, the hospital staff was fantastic. They were just amazing. They had me uh, in uh, getting a, a, a stent put in my heart uh, because I had arterial, two arterial blockages. So they put a stent in my heart uh, to, to open up those blockages. During that time, I was complaining about constantly about a really bad headache that they didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to at that, at that time. And then um, they discharged me on Monday. To Monday, Tuesday, who knows, the days keep running together, discharged me on Tuesday afternoon, and I went home, um, got a shower, and cuddled with Max and Guinness, and started to try to sit down, relax, and enjoy my post-heart attack life. Um, unfortunately, that headache didn't go away. Again, tried to get in, in bed to sleep it off. And it just got worse and worse. And I woke Talisa up again and said, honey, this headache won't stop. Uh, something is not right. Uh, we called 911 and you know the joke, call 911, make an EMT come. Uh, so I had the EMTs show up at the house. They took us to the hospital. Um, hospital ran me into the cat lab or CT lab where they did a CT scan and found out I actually had a brain bleed. I'd actually had what's called a hemorrhagic stroke where my brain started to bleed and that was what was causing the headaches. Unfortunately, uh, Wellstar Paulding did not have Nero on staff at that time to get in and take care of me. So they life lighted me by helicopter from Wellstar Paulding in Hiram, Georgia, to Kennestone Hospital down in Marietta, Georgia. For the record, if you have an opportunity to take a helicopter to save your life, do so because those are some of the most beautiful people you will ever see. They were gorgeous. Not that that matters, but it certainly didn't hurt the ride. Um, once I got to Kennestone Hospital, uh, neurology said, yeah, you have a brain bleed, you've had a stroke, let's get you admitted. Now, the problem, be, the problems arise because I had to take Plavix and other uh, blood thinners for the heart, but those drugs were complicating the brain bleed. We couldn't stop the Plavix and the blood thinners for, because that would mess up my stents which would cause a massive heart attack. So it was a, a touch and go of neurology and cardiology figuring out what to do 
uh, how to get the chemicals, the drugs balance between my head and my heart so that I wouldn't die. And uh, they figured it out. So I'm now at Kennestone R uh, ICU. Uh, I just had a consult with the, with the neurologist and things are looking good actually. They've figured out a, a course of action um, a, a course of medications and drugs to, to, for me to take and how to take them and the, the doses to do and it sounds like it sounds very positive it sounds really positive I'm feeling really good about everything they said today um, again the care staff here all of the nursing staff, everybody, nurses, PAs, uh, uh, just the, the whole bit, the CT crew, the MRI crew, I had an MRI today too, but those, everybody has been great. And I could not ask for, and certainly didn't expect this level of compassionate care they have been, care is a great word. They have been so kind and so gentle, um, so caring. Um, this has been a real shitty situation that could have been even more shitty if these people who work at these hospitals were, were terrible people, but they are, they are not terrible people. They're some of the best people I have ever met. So, um, if you ever have to deal with them, make sure you give them love because they deserve it. They deserve every bit of it. Um, thank you. Those of you who have texted, those of you who have called, those of you who have messaged, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I really do. My family has been here. My mother, my delightful incredible daughter-in-law has been down here has been a real rock she's been the, the scribe taking notes for everybody who's not here and who can't be here um, so um, I've had been surrounded by family um, it's just it's just been it's Again, this could have been so much worse, both medically as well as emotionally. Um, and even though it sucks, I'm, I'm really grateful for everybody. I'm grateful for all of you who have reached out. Please feel free to continue to reach out. Um, and... Uh, I'm here for at least another five days, but I've also been encouraged that by following up with cardiotherapy and physical therapy and occupational therapy, it is entirely possible that I can be back on the trails by mid-December. I can be back doing my hikes uh, by mid-December. So I was convinced it was going to be late spring before I'd be able to do that again. But now it just seems like it'd be December. So all that's very encouraging. As one of the doctors said, he says, we have a goal to work towards with your therapy. And having that goal is gonna make therapy that much better. So that's where we are. Listen, if you are overweight, lose weight. If you have high blood pressure, get your blood pressure down. If you have diabetes, change your diet, get better, take your medications. I was an idiot and have not been taking my medications as prescribed. And I'm sure that led to a lot of this. Uh, so take care of yourselves, uh, take care of each other. And now you know what's been going on with me for the past week and that's all I have to say about that. Thank you. 
I love you all. Bye.